Welcome to the World Radio Communication Conference WRC 23 being held in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates where I'm joined in the studio this afternoon by Mr. Atarashi Hiroyuki who is the chair of committee four here at the World Radio Communication Conference and is also involved with the mobile operators in Japan on a day-to-day -day basis. Mr. Hiroyuki, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much for inviting this interview. Thank you very much. Well, thank you for being here. I'd like to start off by asking you about your role as chair of committee four. What are the main agenda issues that your committee is focusing on uh, and why are they important? Yeah, thank you very much for that question. My committee four is dealing with wide variety of terrestrial services. And this includes uh, international mobile telecommunication services and also some other aeronautical mobile service and mar maritime mobile services issues. And among these items, in this conference, uh, we are discussing the new frequency identification for the IMT and also the new allocation of the frequency to the mobile service. I think this uh, momentum is very important for the future uh, development of the IMT and mobile services. And also, we are discussing the some frequencies for the aeronautical mobile service and introduction of the new GMDSS systems. I'm not a real expert uh, in these areas, but according to the information from these fields, uh, this decision or discussion in the conference is very important for them. Now, you mentioned frequencies. There's a lot of uh, competition for frequencies. A lot of people want to um, have access to them. ITU has got a very much a multi-stakeholder approach uh, here at this conference and, and in general in the conferences that it uh, hosts, uh, which engages governments, regulatory authorities and industry. And the objective is to find consensus amongst all of the delegates here. How successful do you think that is and, uh, and how is it working for you? And, uh, and how effective do you think it will be on the issues that you're discussing? Actually, this is my fourth time to attend World Radio Communication Conferences. And every time we have a wonderful experience over four weeks. So it's a very tough discussion and complex uh, discussion. But I, I think we should not discuss at uh, this conference something like uh, effectiveness. In order to decide an uh, important issue like uh, use of the frequency based on the international framework, should be a very difficult and complex one. So it takes, it takes some time to decide some things. So in, in this regard, I think uh, this conference, or World Radio Communication Conference, is always important. And I believe that this is a core role of ITU. Now, there's also been a deliberate effort to encourage more women to participate in the work of the radio communications sector. From your committee experience, is this effort bearing fruit or is it a work in progress? I think it is still in work in progress and there is much room to improve and facilitate the participation of the women's participants. Actually, in my committee, one of the working group chair is a female working group chairman, chair. And uh, actually, she is inviting female participants to the podium when he, she organizes a session. And uh, she invites them how she has a feeling on the podium. And this kind of initiative is very great. And I really thank her for uh, conducting such an activities to facilitate the women's participation in ITU activities. Well, Mr. Hiroyuki, thank you so much for joining us in the studio today and thank you for your participation here and your work as a Chair of Committee 4 and we look forward to catching up with you again at some stage in the future, hopefully. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. And if you've enjoyed this interview, then do check out our other interviews on our YouTube channel as well as our podcasts on our SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple Podcast channels or wherever you listen to your podcasts. And for further information, visit our website at www.itu.int. Thanks for tuning in.